Hey, what's up YouTube? California Collectibles here. Check it out. I got these miniature Spider-Man action figures. I got these from China off of eBay. It's a seven-piece mini set. They reminded me of Grabzags, so I definitely had to get them. I miss the Grabzags um, company and their little figurines. Um, so I found these, and they had more Spider-Man characters um, than I had before. So check it out. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick review on these figures. Uh, first one I'll start off with is the regular Amazing Spider-Man. And I'll give you a 360 degree look. Paint application is okay. You see some sort of black spots on the back. But his eyes look sharp. He's painted the correct colors. So I definitely dig it. This is probably not the best pose um, compared to all the other figurines. But... Um, it is what it is. The next figure we have is Spider-Man 2099. Really, really good um, adaptation of the character. He has clear... I want to say it's like a cape made out of um, webbing. But it's clear, nice and translucent. Uh, all his lines are nice. The paint is applicated very nicely. And this is a better pose than the first action figure, I think. Okay, here we have Ben Riley. He has his um, blue hoodie on, his web shooters on his arms, got his silver belt, all the nice details. He even comes with a little stump where he puts his foot on. A little more dynamic pose compared to the other two. But once again, it's nicely done and it really translates as the character um, Scarlet Spider. Here we have Venom. This might be my favorite figure out of the uh, set of seven. He has his logo on the front and back, as usual. Long tongue. And his pose reminds me of um, his first appearance uh, when he revealed himself in the first appearance of Venom. Really nice figure and really nicely constructed. Here we have Carnage. Carnage is pretty cool. He's unique because his whole body is translucent. The whole figure is translucent. Uh, it's nicely done. You have little bodies of um, symbiote coming out of his shoulders. He has this really cool pose, like try to come and get me type pose. He looks really cool. Definitely dig this one also. There's a lot of character in this. Okay, so here we have the six-armed Spider-Man. Um, if you guys aren't familiar, I remember the cartoon very well. He tried to, uh, Peter Parker tried to get this antidote where he wouldn't be Spider-Man anymore. He wouldn't have his powers, so he got this concoction. He drank it, and it backfired on him, and he ended up growing two sets of extra arms. This one is definitely one of the more interesting figures that I have in this set. And lastly, um, as Peter Parker was transforming into the six-armed Spider-Man, it got worse and worse, and he became this giant spider. So, this is the outcome of his of his problem. A lot of different colors used. I like the use of orange. Um, really nice quality figure. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you go on eBay and if you're interested in these figures, you go on eBay and just search 7 piece mini Spider-Man and most likely you could find it. I got this set for around $20 I believe or maybe even cheaper but it got to my house within a month so it was a long wait especially from shipping to shipping from China but it was definitely worth the wait. This is an awesome set. I highly recommend it. Quality is on point. Uh, figures are great, and um, hopefully you could get a reliable seller off eBay. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about these figures. Talk to you guys later. Peace.